concussion exposure, a lot of people think that football, simply because it does have the highest number of participants, is the highest exposure rate. But actually, if you look at collegiate athletes, football is fourth behind wrestling and men's and women's ice hockey. In this study, we're trying to look at not necessarily concussions, but the role of repetitive head impacts. So not every time that you're going to sustain an impact to the head, it will end up being enough of a force that causes a concussion. We are trying to see what, if anything, changes over the course of a competitive ice hockey season, um, which is a collision sport where they take many hits to the head, not all of which are concussive. Before the hockey season started, players came in and did some clinical baseline testing. We also did something in a gate lab where they were walking, looking at how they walked over time, how they started walking, ended walking in their balance. Even if they don't suffer a concussion, are they still affected? Is their gait still affected by the number of sub-concussive hits that they take over the course of the season? Then we also did um, some baseline magnetic resonance imaging. Then we have the players wear helmet telemetry devices, so it's little sensors that go underneath their helmet. Um, that they wear during practices and home games, and we measure how many impacts, where the impacts occur, and how many G-forces, or just basically how hard they're getting hit. So if you really think about the way that a concussion can occur, especially in ice hockey, it has a lot to do with how, uh, how well they're able to brace their neck. Um, if they're able to contract that cervical musculature, if they can see someone coming at them, or they know they're about to skate into the boards, they have a sense that someone's gonna hit them, they can brace up a little bit like this, so their head doesn't move back and forth as much. So it's really those unseen hits, or um, someone's coming at them from behind, or their head is down, and that's the mechanism that you really worry about. 